Right guys, something a bit different today. So, as you, if you've watched me last video where I was uh, breaking up the cray in the um, creek, um, I ended up with one bucket left of material. So I asked a few questions and um, it was suggested that I put some soap in. So that's all I've done, I put a bit of no, no. dishwashing liquid in. Um, and had that in there for a few hours now and I got one of these and it's just a little mini paint stirrer so I had about a bucket of sort of clay mud and there's still rocks and stuff in there as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give that a bit of a stir I'll run it through this classifier um, the larger of these two classifiers and the small one um, so all I'll do is I'll just sit these two I'll sit this one in the bucket itself the one that's a bit larger can just sit on top and I'll put the mine lab classifier on top of that so I haven't even run this yet so we'll see um, I'm uh, sure you don't want to hear that for too long. So um, what I'll do is I'll give that a stir for about five minutes and then I'll start pouring it through into the classifiers and see uh, see what happens. And hopefully I'm not wasting me time and there's a bit of gold in here. But we'll see what happens. All right. Um, Given that a good five-minute mix, I'll uh, pour it in and see what comes out. So I've got uh, the water and mud and everything that's washed through all the screens. I put uh, the two screens into uh, this bucket and just poured about 10 litres of water in. And I've still got a little bit of mud in the larger rocks in this uh, classifier. So um, now it's time to, I'm going to wash these down a bit more. What I'll probably do is I'll get this material here first and um, pan that stuff out in that bucket with the water first and then we'll see uh, what happens all right guys so what I've done is um, this smaller screen of the two metal screens that I got use that it's gonna use my little mine lab 10 inch pan today um, so I've got a bucket of water they're the cons that are caught in that screen and everything that went through it I just mixed them up so everything that fell into the bottom of the bucket and in that screen I'll pan them out into the bucket and um, see if we get any colour right guys um, done that first um, bit of material that I had so this is the stuff that's um, caught with this larger metal mesh um, still looks like there's a bit of clay in there. Um, didn't really get much gold out of that first bit, like bugger all. That was where I was probably expecting to be most of the gold, but I still probably haven't broken this stuff down totally, but I'll do that now. Um, yeah, so I'll give that a go. I'll pan this out, see if this reveals any uh, more colour. Hopefully it does. So uh, I've done pretty much nearly all the material. I've still got a little bit that was caught in um, the Mine Lab um, classifier. So I didn't get a whole lot of colour. It's seven or eight little bits of gold. But it's gold. So yeah, um, it worked reasonably well. So I had to break it down a little bit. Even using that paint mixer, a bit of soap. Um, there's probably still a little bit of gold, maybe, that I've let get through. But I'll take these cons back down to the creek and um, return them to where they were. 
and probably just run them through a sluice or pan down there or something real quickly just one last time so yeah something a bit different um yeah, until the next time i'll uh see you all later